Hello and welcome to another video in our Mantis Q40 series. In this video, we're going to look at the menus and menu structure, as well as some ways to um, do some shortcut keys that'll accomplish specific tasks on your Mantis. So let's go ahead and get started. There's nothing on my display right now. I can't remember if I turned it off or not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap that power button on the left and it must be turned off. So the power button again, if, if you recall, is located on the left side of the unit further to the back. And if you push it in and hold it, about three seconds, it'll power on. And now it says starting in uncontracted braille. And there is a tactile sort of a whirly thing that goes around to let you know that it's actually doing what you asked it to do, which is fantastic. I like that they made that an accessible thing. And it doesn't take too long to start up. It'll be a couple more seconds yet, I think. Yep, here we go. Yeah, literally a couple more seconds. So when you start up the unit, the first place you are is in the top of the menu. And right now my menu says editor. To go to the next menu item in the main menu, I can use the up or down arrows on my keyboard, or I can use the previous and next thumb keys to navigate the menu. I'm going to use a next thumb key. Okay, so then I went back to, to terminal and now I'm gonna go backwards and we're focused on editor. Just a really quick word about the editor. The editor is a very basic, basic functioning uh, piece of the unit. It is not a very robust thing. It doesn't do formatting, it doesn't do spell check, nothing like that. So notes on things, uh, maybe simple assignments, anything that doesn't require a spell check, uh, things like that. Nothing with oh, we look, headers, footers, citations. Do not do your dissertation on this. Um, it has some great features, but um, don't, just don't do that. Um, again, so now that we know what the next menu item is, I can press the next thumb key, the uh, down arrow to move down in the menu, or I can press the letter T to go to terminal mode. So first letter navigation is a thing in um, on the Mantis. So I press T and now it's focused on terminal. It did not enter terminal mode, it just put me there. So now that we're on terminal mode, uh, what terminal mode is, is when you connect your Mantis to another device like your phone or a computer, that terminal mode is what kind of puts your Mantis into the mood of, I am working with another device and I am communicating that device to you. You are not working on the Mantis itself, you are working on your iPad, your phone, your computer and those all can be used to, um, to access your Mantis. So I'm going to go ahead and do a next thumb key. The next um, item is library. The library is where all of your downloaded books are going to go. It's kind of a storage area, so uh, we'll hit on that later. The next, the next one is actually your file manager. Your file manager is where you manage and store files that you may have created on the unit with the editor function, or um, you can even move, I guess, downloaded books or things um, into this um, area. You can use folders, copy, paste, all those things. So again, next menu item. And the next one is a calculator. The calculator is not going to be something you use for your calculus class. It's relatively simple, um, not too hard to use, uh, but you do need to realize it. it's, it's a, simpl a simplified calculator. So again, you know, just pretty simple stuff and experiment with it a little bit. Next is date and time. This is where we would set the date and time. Date and time, by the way, is an excellent way of learning the capabilities of your unit um, and how to do things and to get practice. Um, I said this about the chameleon as well when I did those videos. The date and time settings, what they do is if you manually set that, you're being asked to use navigation features, use the enter key, uh, all of those things to, to set the date and time. And you're doing those things without doing any like big damage to the unit. I mean, you get the time wrong, big, big deal. Uh, go back and try again. You're not deleting files or doing things like that. So this is a very nice way to learn how to have hands-on practice with your unit. I'm going to go to the next item, and this is settings. 
Settings is where you would, well, okay, settings like Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi, things like that are going to be in this menu. And we are going to look at the settings another time um, briefly. Let's go ahead and go to the next item. The next item is online, um, online services. Online services are the things that you need to be online and connected to the internet to do. NFB Newsline is an example, as is the, um, the Bookshare application. You can get Bookshare books directly on your device, which is kind of a cool thing with, without having it connected to a secondary device. It's kind of a sweet idea. I kind of like it. So next item in the menus is going to be um, user guide. And if you'll recall, there is an installed uh, version of the user guide on this particular unit. You can open it up. You can do find commands, uh, things like that. The user guide is another great place to kind of experiment with using uh, find commands to try different, different things uh, without uh, make, doing a lot of damage. So next. Next is power off, and we'll do a demonstration of this later when we are done with our um, with what we're talking about. But power off is you can power your unit off either by going to this area of the menu, or by holding the power button again for like you know three four seconds ish. You'll you'll feel the vibration of the display, and you'll just follow the directions. And again, we'll go through that. So I'm gonna hit my next thumb key and I'm right back to editor. Um, you can return to the main menu if you have entered one of these um, items. And by the way, so if I wanted to open the editor, I would do enter or a cursor routing key. And here, um, now that I entered the, the editing menu, it says create file. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So what I can do to go back to the main menu is I can press this this round key in the front of the unit if I want to. I can also press the Windows key, which I'm going to give you an orientation here. If you find the space bar and move to your left, you'll see it feel the Alt key and the key next to the Alt key is the Windows key. If you press the Windows key, you're right back to the main menu. It says editor right here. So that's another way in case this front key for some reason is defective or isn't doing it, you can use this Windows key. There is one more way to do it. So I'm gonna enter the that um, edit menu again and show you. So now I'm in create file. Oops, wanna get back to the main menu. So I can do Alt, Control, H. So Alt is the key again that is directly to the left of the space bar. The key to the left of the Alt is Windows. The key to the left of Windows is Function. And the key in the lower left-hand corner is Control. So Alt, Control, hold those together and tap the letter H. There we go. I think the first time I kind of stuttered a bit, but yep, so those work. Um, there are some ways to navigate around and find out information. For example, to find your battery percentage, you're going to do a control plus alt again with the letter P. So another command we are using with control alt, P. And your battery percentage is going to flash on the screen. I'm at um, 90%. And what it'll do is it'll disappear after it's flashed. It's called the flash message. In the settings, if you are a slower braille reader, you can make that message sit on the screen a little longer to give you more time to find it if you want. Um, if to uh, display the time, control alt with the letter T. And, oh, yeah, the time is wrong. It says it's 11, uh, 30, 39, I think it says. Um, again, it was a little, a little bit quick for me, but Again, you can change that in the settings, but it displays it as a flash message. The same thing, you can do a date with an alt control D. Well, D is in dog. And yep, oh, the date is definitely wrong. When you reset your date, that'll be something that you can change. You can also toggle your braille grade um, by doing alt control G. If I need to do that, I can. If from the last video, you'll remember we looked at braille profiles. And right now I have a Braille pro profile set up. And if I want to change my grade of Braille within that profile without changing the profile itself, 
I can do Alt Control G. Okay, and here we go. It says, yep, now it says it's um, computer braille. And it shows that the menus are in computer braille. I can see because editor is um, spelled out. So I'm gonna do that Control Alt G again, or Alt Control G, however you wanna say it, it doesn't matter. So then this is going to be contracted, or no, this is uncontracted braille. So we're gonna do it again, Alt Control G. Here we go. I think that's about it for what we have for this for this session. So I hope that you have learned a little bit of something for, about your mantis and we will cover another topic next time.